This is a huge game tonight. Uh, I'm very excited for for Kyler v. Uh, Russ this evening for week. Who 11. you got in this game? You know what? That's a great question. <laughs> I've been going back and forth here. So, uh, Chris, look it up. When was the last time a Pete Carroll team lost three in a row? When was that last time? I, I don't know when it was, but uh, I'm not going to sit here and say that the the Seahawks don't have um, deficiencies that Arizona can take advantage of. And my concern is Arizona has had trouble closing games, including the win against Seattle, including what we saw against Buffalo, that they just, when they need to pick up a first down late, they haven't. When Kyler Murray needs to pick one up, he's ending up throwing it. And uh, instead of running it and vice versa, they've been out of sync. But I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards Arizona tonight. What about you? Uh, yeah, Arizona. I'm going with Arizona too. But you bring up a great point from from Sunday that that nobody's talking about because of that great finish. Um, Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins, there in the end zone over three guys. <laughs> he, he usually don't throw in a triple coverage and come away happy about it, but you know, it's DeAndre Hopkins. But on the drive before that, Cliff Kingsbury kind of messed it up. Uh, all he had to do was kind of eat some clock. And they threw. I think they. I think they threw three times to hand it over to Buffalo to allow Josh Allen and Buffalo to go ahead. So if they didn't have that big comeback, that big throw, I think. I think Kingsbury would have been facing some tough questions. But I think the, the catch took took all that away. Yeah, I, I, it is one of those again where um, where Arizona has been you know, shooting themselves in the foot a little bit with decision-making and then execution towards the end of the game. But they are still 6-3, and three and I don't know. I mean, we've all seen momentum and what a fickle beast it can be, but how 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 you can take it from one game to another, and it's only been four days. Uh, I, 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 I think I'm going to go with Arizona tonight. I, I think that's where I'm – I think you've helped me talk this one out. I think that's the way I'm going to hey, go. Hey, Rich, don't you feel like – don't you feel like – I know 2020 has been weird – in a lot of ways, away from sports. But if I told you last year that we're talking about Arizona in a position to sweep Seattle uh, yep. in, a, in a season series, that the Cleveland Browns came off a big win, and they're 6-3. and three. The Buffalo is leading the AFC East, and they could have been 8-2 and two if not for that last, uh, last second catch. I mean, think about it. Tampa Bay is 7-3. and three. You feel like you're in some kind of alternate reality, don't you? Yeah, I, it is just – it's one of those crazy years, and it's one of those years in which it's an any given Sunday, um, and it's been happening, um, and it's been weird. If I'm not mistaken, Chris, has Pete Carroll ever lost three games in a row? Yeah, so the last as, time uh, – the Seattle Pete, Seahawks? Yeah, no, they did it in 2011 was the last time. They lost three in a row to Cleveland, Cincinnati, and Dallas. They finished seven and nine that yeah, year. I've got this up right here. The quarterbacks in that game were Tavares Jackson and – uh, the quarterback that uh, Jeff Schaefer, the Curb Your Enthusiasm and Seinfeld writer and producer and director, um, would call clipboard Jesus. Charlie Whitehurst was his uh, was the quarterback. <laughs> that so, was a, hey, Rich, wasn't that, that was the year of the big round. That was when they, they, they hosted a playoff game. Everybody was mad about it because they were 7-9. and nine. They played the Saints, and then Marshawn Lynch broke 70 tackles. And then uh, had an interesting celebration in the end zone. Actually, it was the year after that, to be honest with you. And it's one of those. Or, was that the year after? Well, 2010 was the year in which they, they beat the defending champion New Orleans Saints yeah. in that game. And that was the Beast Quake. The year after they lost or, three in a row. Right. After the, it's, yeah. it's kind of, you know, that was 2010, year before they lost three in a row. And I remember being uh, in Seattle uh, all those years ago before Russell Wilson showed up. And we were asking Pete Carroll after the game as we were being showered by Skittles, by the way, in the corner uh, on our NFL <laughs> Network set, was asking, who, who, yeah. you know, what's the identity of this team? Because this was pre-Legion of Boom and pre-Russell Wilson. And we're wondering, like, Pete was the identity, and so was Marshawn Lynch, and then we all know the, kind of the, the rest is history.